Hello, it's Wednesday, June the 14th. I'm editor Nick Wright. Let's take a look back at the last week. All right, man, we had a busy week this week. It was Bushwhackers last weekend. It's been a long weekend. It's been a good weekend. Had a lot of fun. Let's take a look and see what was in the paper last week. All right, Friday, lead story. Tina Werner, the former Vernon County Ambulance District bookkeeper, has surrendered herself to authorities to face the federal wire fraud charges. And obviously, again, the big story that week was the opening of Bushwhacker Days. In Shell City, Christy Goodman was appointed alderman and Nevada police arrested two during the execution of a search warrant. In Saturday's edition, we have more Bushwhacker Days. Friday night, it was the band Shotgun and Lace providing the entertainment. Also in our Saturday edition, we had a nice feature story by Gabe Franklin on a longtime postal carrier set to retire. We also had a brief about another lawsuit filed against our jail. Inside the Saturday edition, we had a photo from the Nevada Regional Technical Center Practical Nursing Class graduation, which was also held Friday night. I just want to take this chance to say thank you to the teachers. The four of you, including Mrs. Mather, know that you make great nurses. In the Tuesday, June 13th edition, we had yet more Bushwhacker photos. Jason Pritchett performed Saturday night. Also Saturday night was the parade. We had a lot of photos, a lot of good coverage. I hope you check it out. I've had years of prey up the city life trapped like a duck in a pen. All I know is it's a Continuing his People Can Change series Tuesday was Johannes Braun with a feature story on Shane O'Wright. Another great story about people changing their lives for the better. And in today's paper, Wednesday, June 14th, lead story is the city has hired a new Parks and Rec director. The name of Kevin Crump from Illinois is going to be here starting June the 19th. And there's a meet and greet going to be held at the community center on June the 22nd from 10 till noon. We got multiple calls Monday and Tuesday about a covered wagon in town. So our Gabe Franklin went out and hunted him down and talked to him a little bit, got a story and some photos. Tuesday at City Hall, Mayor Brian Leonard and Nevada Police Officer Marcus Champion were honored with a few awards. And Johannes covered Patricia Breckenridge, Chief Justice of the Missouri Supreme Court, speaking locally for the last time as Chief Justice. So that's a look back at the last week in our newspaper. I hope you enjoyed our coverage. I hope you enjoy what we're doing. In addition to the coverage we provided in the newspaper, I also tried yet another new thing with the YouTube channel, posting a video from each night of bushwhackers here on our youtube channel uh, if you haven't seen them yet please check them out let us know what you think now if you like what we're doing with our youtube channel please make sure to give us a thumbs up click that subscribe button that way you won't miss anything that we're doing here let us know what you like what you don't like please make sure to pick up a copy of the newspaper and uh, i hope you all are doing well and we'll see you next time bye